Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For all the returning subscribers, thank you for wanting to spend your time with me again. For those who are new, welcome to Birda Shiro. Oh, that sounded good, you hear that? <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and also do not forget to hit the bell so you get the notification whenever I post a video every Monday at 7 p.m. All right, today what are we gonna talk about? We are going to talk about deodorants. Okay, so the thing is, I have a cyst, right, for years. In the past, they tried to do surgery, but then it was too so small for them to do anything. But one thing I noticed is when I use regular deodorants, like the Secrets and the Dove and whatever the case may be, the cysts hurts so bad and I could feel it throbbing whenever I would put on regular deodorant and for years I didn't know what was causing it until I found out it was a deodorant regular deodorants have aluminum in it right so if you look at your deodorant you look in the back with the ingredients the first usually is like the first one it will say aluminum it will say like 18% or 19% that's horrible it's horrible for your skin it's horrible for your body it shouldn't be in your body at all I know it says antiperspirant but you're a human being you're supposed to sweat the fact that you could put on a deodorant and you could go two days or 24 hours or 48 hours like it would say on the bottle and you're not sweating that's crazy that's scary because sweating is just releasing toxins out your body so imagine putting on deodorant and you put this on every day or sometimes people put on twice a day and you're not sweating where do you think these toxins are going nowhere it's just staying in there and you wonder why half of the time you're sick and keep getting sick and all these issues that you're having so i gave up um, regular deodorant like three years i say three four years right it's i do always keep a hand of a regular deodorant at the house i know it sounds contradictory but when i'm going to do something active or like i'm going to a wedding because i'm mad christian there's so many weddings i'm going to a wedding or i'm going to a gym i'm doing something active and i'll need like a regular deodorant to just hold it down for about two hours I'll, I'll wear that and that's like once a month it's never often so i can handle that but on my day-to-day -day, i wear natural deodorants and i'll always keep one in my bag because natural deodorants i'm gonna be honest with you it doesn't last okay so don't think you're about to put it on and then go a whole work day and then some and then Think you're gonna smell great no 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 you keep with you keep some wipe you wipe it and reapply it because it doesn't last that long last that long it's natural you're going to sweat it's healthy i don't have any pains in my boob when i don't when i wear regular natural when i wear natural deodorant and thank god for that because that pain is serious you can't even hug me that's how painful it is i love the natural deodorants and i'm going to i just want to share some of the natural deodorants that i found because it is a process it is a journey okay you have to find what works for you and you have to switch it up at least what i've learned with it I switch up my natural deodorants like once every six months or once a year because after a while your body get used when you kind of have to try something new use that for a bit and then come back and one thing I also learned from natural deodorants is like I used to use um, Schmitz I think it's called and it has baking soda in it some people may be allergic to baking soda some may not I'm one of those people that, that was allergic to or that that is allergic to break baking soda so when I was using the Schmitz and I had the baking soda in it, or any other deodorant that I've used that has baking soda in it, it neutralizes the odor. So it doesn't smell stink. And you don't smell like flowers and lemons and blooms nine hours through the day. You know what I'm trying to say? So it, it neutralizes the odor. But the thing with baking soda is, I'm allergic to it. And a lot of people are too. So what baking soda, what I experienced is, I use baking soda even though it was great. Trust me, it was a great deodorant. But the baking soda gave me the biggest boil under my arm like literally it was so big i couldn't put my arm down to a point i was this close to going to the hospital the emergency room for them to drain out the pus that was in my arm it was horrible and at first i didn't know where it was coming from i didn't think it was the deodorant because it's natural deodorant but i didn't know that you could use natural deodorant and still be allergic to baking soda so it, the boil was so bad. It was so, so, so bad. It was started off as a rash and then goes into, like, when I, I'm not even exaggerating. It was like a, a small little golf ball. Like, it was horrible. I used shea butter on it. My aunt told me this. when she, My aunt that came from Ghana. I'm from Ghana. Hey. When she came from Ghana, she told me I put shea butter on it. And the shea butter was basically like a, um, almost like a natural Neosporin, I should say. It popped it and basically took out all the pus came out so i didn't have to go to the hospital for it ever since that learning that about my body and baking soda i cannot use any deodorant that's 
that has baking soda. And like I said, not everybody's allergic to bacon, baking soda, but some people are, a lot of people are. So if you experience this, it's probably the baking soda. So I've been looking for um, deodorants that doesn't have baking soda. A lot of times when it doesn't have baking soda, it is replaced with arrowroot. So I'm just gonna share with you what I've tried so far that I like a lot. And um, I'm still, I'm always looking for new deodorant. You know, I'm always, always, old. Cause once, once again, like I said, your body get used to it, so you always have to switch it up. So I started off with this one. This is the Love Vanilla. Um, I think they call it the healthy deodorant. And I like this one a lot. It's a solid stick. This one is in black, um, black, sorry, van vanilla blackberry. Smells amazing, smells great. Um, it's very buttery, it's nice and smooth. It goes on very easily. It's a solid stick. Um, you can find this at Sephora. Sephora have it for about $15. It's expensive, I know. Oh my gosh. But when you check, sometimes you can, if you check your Marshalls on your TJ Maxx, they usually have this. I mean, not usually, but they do. You just have to catch them when they're there. And when I see, I buy like three. They will have it for about five, six, seven dollars in that price range. Um, it's smooth, like I said. You will sweat. Um, it's buttery. Um, it's easy to go on. I've went through about four or five of these. It doesn't have any parabens also. That's not the only thing you have to, I mean, aluminum is not the only thing you gotta look for. You gotta look for parabens. So it doesn't have any parabens. It doesn't have any aluminum. It doesn't have um, the baking soda. It has, I think, it has cornstarch. So that's another thing. Either it has arrowroot or it has cornstarch. I get five hours out of this before I have to reapply. But once again, you walk with your wipes, you wipe off, you apply, and you're good to go. Uh, my body started to get used to start started to get used to it, so I had to switch over to something else. Like I said, I went through about four or five of this because I've been using this since 2016, I would say. So I, I had to, so I'm giving this one a break before I come back to it and trying something new to for my body to basically forget this and then I'm gonna go back to it. Um, like I said, Sephora have for fifteen dollars. Um, you can find it at TJ Maxx and um. Marshalls for about seven dollars, so just look out for it. But it's pricey, but it's worth the money. And the one I'm currently using is called is this one called Honestly pH, but it's fresh sugar mint. It's a prebiotic deodorant, and it's enriched with mag magnesium and prebiotics. Aluminum free, baking soda free, 24 hour protection. So this one says it's gluten free for those who are gluten sensitive, paraben and phthalate free is vegan not irritating and non-staining discover a revolutionary natural deodorant that targets and eliminates body odor for up to 24 hours no it's not 24 hours our exclusive formula uses a combination of prebiotics minerals and organic ingredients to effectively keep you odor free while maintaining your natural ph it's fair trade that's good people are getting paid fairly um and there's a sugar mint um scent so this one is different from the first one. This one is more, it's also solid, but it's a little bit more stickier. It's not as smooth and buttery as the other one. This is one of those where you actually have to put it under your arm and let it sit for about five seconds so it can warm up so you can easily spread it under your arm. It lasts, it do last. It's not 24 hours, but it lasts. I could go about seven hours before I have to wipe it, wipe my underarms and reapply. It, the scent is all right. It's nothing special, but I could care less. I'm, as long as it's not unscented, and it has some type of scent and it smells all right. I'm fine with it. It's a, I think, and this one has arrowroot. The other one had, um, what else it had? Cornstarch, this one had, has arrowroot. Doesn't have, and it, the first ingredient is shape of the, probably that's why it's so sticky and so thick. It makes sense. But um, it's not bad at all, honestly. I, w I would definitely repurchase after this. I, I found this and Marshalls. And after this, I am on the lookout still, for, you know, cause Marshalls and TJ Maxx, you kind of have to grab it while, while it's there because it just might not see you next week. That's just how it operates. I would definitely use it again. I would keep using this until my body says, all right, I had enough of this, and then go back to my other one. But it's really good. I like it a lot. I got it on sale for 7 I got it from Marshalls on sale for $7. I think I looked it up online. I would tag all the websites where you can find these things are at. I looked it up online, and it was about, I think, $15. But once again, I found a... Um, TJ Maxx and Marshalls, one of them, the same family, for about seven seven dollars. But I really do like it. I do, I do. I like it. It's a nice replacement. So in the nighttime, I don't use any of that. I use this baby pop powder. This is regular burst beast dusting powder, and this is a regular dusting powder. The reason I like it 
This is talc free. It doesn't have parabens. It doesn't have phthalates. I think it's called phthalates actually. So it doesn't have, it's paraben free. It doesn't have phthalates. It doesn't have petroleum or SLS, right? It's really good. So for the mothers, if you worry about talc and that being an issue with your baby, definitely use this. I've had this for about two years. I dust this under my arm in the nighttime. It keeps me dry and I'm good. So this is basically my deodorant in the nighttime. I like it a lot. I remember when I was, um, and there's also great pediatrician tested. So once again, mothers, you guys, I think you guys would like it. It has the first ingredient is cornstarch. I'll be putting it under my arm and my chest, looking like a straight African or a, a Haitian or Caribbean. Or back in the day, your parents be having your whole up to your neck with powder because it's like that just what we do. So I like this for the night, and these are the deodorants that I've been using. I love it. I don't have any issues with it. It doesn't. It, it, I prefer that. I I I'd rather do the extra work of carrying a deodorant with me every time to reapply than go through that pain or god forbid cancer in in the in, in the future i'm no it's all right i'll be all all right you just gonna have to love me for who i am okay thank you for joining me again please don't forget to subscribe do not forget to hit the bell so you get the notification once again every monday at 7 p.m come and check me out come and hang out with me and once again whatever you use have used plan on using going to use if it works for you put it down so you can just Share with me and everybody else is in the comments so we can all know what you know what to try. Thank you again. Bye.